Hey guys, it's Josh Stony Ridge Farmer. I want to talk to you a little bit about how to fence deer out of your orchard, your garden, your yard, whatever you want to do uh, to keep the deer out. This worked for me. I'm sure it would work for you. Uh, so check it out. I'll show you the fence that we have for our deer. So I'm over here at my orchard and uh, my fence uh, setup is just like this, okay? I have um, electric fence. Uh, this is the uh, nylon with stranded wire in it. Uh, available at like Tractor Supply or your local uh, farm supply store. I have a uh, post out here and it could be a steel post, a uh, metal post, plastic post, whatever you want. But I've got this post out here and it's three feet from this post, okay? I have one strand which is 18 inches from the ground here. And then I have 18, 36, and 54. And I'll show you that. Uh, for some reason, the deer cannot negotiate this three-dimensional spot here. Uh, they walk up to it. I don't know if they hit their legs on it or what, but for some reason, they cannot negotiate to jump this fence. So what I've got here is this strand of wire is 18 inches from the ground. This post right here is three feet from this post. So we've got a gap. I'll step over here and show you of three feet here between these posts and then I start my first wire here at 18 inches then in increments of 18 I go up so 36 and then 54 okay so three feet of distance between your post 18 36 and 54 inches here's a close-up of the type of wire that we use it's pretty simple stuff and I'll show you the electric fence controller also. So we'll walk around this fence. Here's a little walk around of my fence. And you can see again, three feet of spacing. The two bottom wires are at 18 inches and the middle 36, then 54. And this is our orchard. I just finished putting uh, manure around all of our uh, fruit trees here. We've got about 51, 52 fruit trees right so here. So when I got to a corner, I found it uh, maybe I need to negotiate this a little differently. So I put one post uh, parallel to the fence here, or in line with the fence. And then I put the next post also in line with this fence. And this fence has been up, I guess, for one season. Uh, and the wire is holding up very well. Now every so often, I uh, laced all three wires together on the corner post so that I get a good constant steady charge all the way down my fence line. Um, right now it's kind of taken apart right here where I've been uh, going in with the manure. So walking over here and here's my little fence controller. These are just ideas that you could use um, but I took uh, a couple stakes, staked them in the ground there and just put a uh, 2x6 on there or maybe a 2x8 and then I'm using the uh, solar fence controller here. Uh, so it's a solar powered fence controller. So here's the fence controller that I use, the 0.5 joules. Uh, I think this is a uh, 50, no, it's a 30 mile fence. Um, you can find this at any local uh, fencing supply store. I also have my ground rod. Uh, this is extremely important. Get yourself a ground clamp and a ground rod like this uh, and drive it down. You don't have to drive it the, the full eight foot length of the ground rod. I have it here so that when I get ready to pull it and move it, if I want to, I can always remove that ground rod. So again, a little more walking of the fence. So this is what I have going around my orchard. Not one deer entered this orchard this year, okay? No deer at all entered my orchard. Although every night when I come up my driveway, there are deer right here in the grass. So this is Josh, Sunny Ridge Farmer, letting you know again how to keep the deer out of your orchard. This worked for me. I'm sure it will work for you. Give it a try. Um, after a while, I didn't even need to keep the electricity on the fence. Uh, the deer, it, 
the fence has been off for about two months now and I still haven't had any trouble with deer uh, nibbling off my fruit trees. So it works. This is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Woo! Bill, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life here.